discussing the cerebral cortex. Okay, the cerebral cortex are actually we will discussing the structural feature of the uh, cerebral cortex. Anterior posterior cerebral. Yeah, I will be discussing all about that. Okay, <clears throat> so first of all, let's discuss the lobes. Actually, there are four lobes. Uh, four lobes on the cerebral cortex. So before discussing the lobes, I have the one important thing to tell you that the cerebral cortex is actually formed by the two hemispheres. This is the right cerebral hemisphere and this is the left cerebral hemisphere. This is the anterior cerebral. No, I'll, t I'll tell, all, tell you all about this. Okay? The cerebral right and left cerebral hemisphere actually uh, attached in between by the corpus callosum. Okay, this is the corpus callosum. Actually, corpus callosum actually is the band of the efferent and afferent. Fibers. Okay, yeah, and sure. this is the white matter you should know. Commissure fibers. Commissure fibers. Okay, now just let's discuss the left <coughs> cerebral hemisphere. Okay, we have four lobes in the left cerebral hemisphere here. The, uh, these uh, cerebral, uh, these lobes are actually divided by the uh, so central and the lateral sulcus and two imaginary lines. Okay, this is the frontal lobe. The frontal lobe is actually uh, divided by the parietal lobe by this central sulcus and this lateral sulcus. So this central sulcus actually goes downward and forward and then uh, it becomes uh, attached with the lateral sulcus. And uh, this is the frontal lobe actually. This is the parietal lobe. Parietal lobe is actually behind the central sulcus and this is above the first imaginary line. This is the first imaginary line. Okay, this is your parietal lobe. And the occipital lobe is actually Behind this <coughs> below the first imaginary uh, no this is the horizontal one is the secondary imaginary line and this vertical one is the first imaginary line between the first imaginary line and the second uh, the central sulcus is the parietal lobe and below this the secondary image uh, secondary second imaginary line is the occipital lobe okay this is your temporal lobe okay the temporal lobe is divided from the frontal and the parietal lobe by this the central sulcus and the lateral sulcus okay we have the three poles in the cerebral cortex here one is the frontal pole Second is the occipital pole, and the third is the temporal pole. Okay. The last this, point, surface, this surface is the superior lateral surface. Okay. This is the superior medial border. This is the superior lateral inferior. border. Inferior. Yeah. This is this is the inferior lateral border. The inferior, okay, lateral. inferior lateral border. Okay. Uh, this is the inferior view. Mm -hmm. We'll be discussing these views. Uh, let me discuss first the surfaces. Okay. This is the medial surface. This is the middle surface. Now come to the sulci and the gyri. Actually, <clears throat> the two very important structures we have the, on the cerebral cortex are the sulci and the gyri. You may think of the sulci as the, you know, the depression or the fissure. And the gyri is actually is the foldings, foldings of this, the cortex. Between two yeah, gyri. Between, between those two, two sulci. sulci. Actually, the, this uh, gyri is actually, the, this gyri we have in the center as a white matter and above this is the gray matter. Okay? This sulci, sulci and the gyri are actually covered by the pia matter. Okay? The pia matter actually protrudes into this gyri. Okay? In this sulci and it forms the gyri. Okay. Now, first discuss the sulci of the frontal lobe. We have two sulci and three gyri in the frontal lobe. Okay? The first one is the superior frontal sulcus. And <coughs> this is the superior frontal sulcus. Okay. This is the inferior frontal sulcus. Mm. This is the superior frontal gyrus. This is this is the mid sorry, this is the inferior frontal sulcus. This is the superior frontal sulcus. The superior frontal gyri, the middle frontal gyri, gyri and the inferior frontal gyri. gyri. Okay. Uh, this is the central sulcus. The central sulcus actually divides the motor area in front and the sensory areas of the cerebral hemisphere. This is the central sulcus. The central sulcus is also called the sulcus of the Rolando. Uh, the central sulcus we have the anterior side, the motor area, and the posterior side we have the sensory area. Okay. Uh, in the central sulcus, in front of the sulcus, uh, central sulcus, we have this gyri. This is the precentral gyri. The precentral gyri is actually behind the precentral sulcus. Okay. This is the post central sulcus. Behind the central sulcus and in between the post central sulcus is the post central gyri. Okay. <coughs> now come to the parietal lobe. This is the parietal lobe. Okay. In the parietal lobe, we have the intraparietal sulcus. This is the intraparietal sulcus. Actually, the intraparietal sulcus divides this into the superior parietal lobule and the inferior parietal lobule. Okay. Okay. Uh, now come to the occipital occipital lobe. In the occipital lobe, we have this gyri. This is called the uh, 
pyrito occipital sulcus. This is the calcarine. This is the calcarine um, uh, calcarine sulcus. And we have here is uh, another sulcus, which is lunate sulcus, but that is not shown that much. Uh, you know, Visibly clearly. Clear. Yeah, clearly. It's the lunate sulcus. What okay. sulcus? Lunate sulcus. Lunate sulcus. That is actually the moon-like. Okay, this is now now come to the temporal lobe. The temporal lobe is actually divided by the central sulcus and the lateral sulcus. The temporal lobe. Now first, yeah, I forgot that lateral sulcus. Discuss the let's discuss the lateral sulcus. In the lateral sulcus, we have the three parts: the ascending part, the interior part, and the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus. This is the posterior ramus of the central sulcus. On this posterior ramus of the central sulcus, you have now uh, then this uh, attachment of the central sulcus. But okay. in this model, it is not shown that that type. Okay, this is the anterior rami. This is your lateral sulcus. The lateral sulcus and the central sulcus actually divides this temporal lobe of uh, from the frontal lobe. Okay, now let's discuss the temporal lobe. This is the temporal lobe. On the temporal lobe, we have two sulci and three gyri. Okay, this is the Superior, uh, superior, uh, tem superior temporal sulcus and this is the inferior temporal sulcus. This is superior temporal gyrus and this is the middle temporal gyrus and this is the inferior temporal gyrus. Actually, this inferior temporal gyrus is also visible on inferior view of the brain. Okay, now come on to its, uh, its uh, medial surface. Okay, this is the left side of the brain. This is the medial surface of the brain. In so this left, one, left, the, left cerebral hemisphere. And okay. that was the interior surface. Yeah, no, this is the superior lateral surface. No, 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 this is the interior pole I am describing. Interior pole I can start today. This is the interior lobe. This is the interior side, okay? This is